What is up guys? It's your boy Grim. We are back with another video. Filming videos on YouTube doesn't always go as planned. I basically filmed the whole video already with no audio. So I lost about like what? An hour of filming and installing the shift knob. But uh, here we are. I have a brand new microphone. So let me know if it sounds great. Uh, you know, I'm testing new stuff. So yeah, we have a brand new shift knob for my car. It's a likewise shifter uh, for the Mustang. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So when you order a shift knob from likewise down in Australia, it comes in a box like that with their you know logo tape. I already did an unboxing since um, it was a gift for Christmas. Here it is. This is the Daytona model shifter. Uh, it does look like a BMX peg, but yo, it was good. Since my car is a Ford, you know, Mustang, I need the adapter right here. This is the proprietary adapter for the Ford cars. Um, so yeah, here it is. Uh, for your car, you might need another adapter or whatever, but that's all you get. And yeah, you get a sticker there and an instruction card if you don't know what the hell you're doing. So here we have the OEM shifter. Mine, the leather was wearing off. I was going to get a new shift knob eventually one day, but my girlfriend got me a likewise shifter for Christmas. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty nice. This little tutorial video is going to apply specifically for the 2015 to 2020 or over uh, Mustang with the MT-82 six speed manual. Uh, it's a pretty simple install basically uh, you just have to unthread and rethread some stuff but yeah let's get into it so first we're going to remove the OEM shift knob just turn it counterclockwise and it should do the trick Bloop. Oh, fuck. now the first piece we're going to install is the cylinder looking piece with the uh, grip on the side this is going to be uh, what catches the you know reverse mechanism there's a thread just thread it onto the shifter now don't go all the way because if you go all the way you won't have enough play in the in the lockout to go into reverse so let me show you that's all the way threaded in if i go up i can't go into reverse so you gotta go like probably like halfway then you're able to go into reverse now, after finding the right position for the lower piece, you're going to have to install this, uh, you know, middle piece. This sits onto the shifter, and this is what the likewise shifter going, is going to thread on. So, now the part is on. Again, make sure you can go into reverse without any issues. And now it's time for the likewise shifter. So here's the Daytona shifter. Mine is a little customized. I have my, you know, name engraved on it. So Grimgen, I don't know if y'all can see it. So now it's really straightforward. Just install that on there. And here you go. Now you see that the shifter is not facing the right way. The logo is not facing the right way. Uh, my logo down there too. So to have it face it that way, uh, it's pretty simple. Basically just turn the base to where it needs to be. So like that, let's say, then remove the shifter itself and you're going to use the Allen key to tighten this part down. This will make that, you know, sit really flush on that part and that won't let it turn either way. And after this is tightened down, uh, once you put the likewise shifter on it, it will face the right way. So that's all there is for the shift knob. 
install. Uh, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Now we're gonna go for a drive and uh, I'll chop my phone onto my head and show you clips of what it is driving with the brand new shifter. And uh, you'll get to see the carbon fiber LV shift light, steering wheel, whatever as well. So let's go. So guys, we are in the car right now. Uh, I had to do it into two different takes. We are currently the next day because last night it was getting too dark to film a video inside. But yeah, here we are. This is the brand new Likewise shifter. This is my OHC Motors LED shift light carbon steering wheel. We're gonna get on the road and show you what it's all about. really like the feel of the shifter uh, you know I got to drive a little bit last night because I went drifting with some friends it was really snowing uh, a lot last night and yeah I'll show you the damage that I did on the car last night too uh, rip <laughs> rip my front lip rip 2020 you'll you'll be missed Right now we're getting on the highway 15 south if you're from quebec you know what i'm talking about i haven't showcased the steering wheel uh, so far on my channel uh, i was you know just too excited to install on the car and didn't really film and install a video on it it's a full uh, carbon fiber wheel uh, made with the oem uh, steering wheel core from ford and basically it's handmade from you know everything to the carbon to the leather the stitching you know everything is handmade this is the model with the shift light. A lot of people were asking me like, how does it work, blah, blah, blah. blah. Well, it's pretty simple. Uh, this steering wheel is uh, grounded to a bolt like inside of there. And I have it uh, going to a 12 volt source, which is from the OBD2. And this, uh, well, the steering wheel, whether it's for, you know, Ford, Porsche, whatever, they, they make them for any cars, basically. So you have a box that plugs into the OBD2 that talks to the system right there through like Bluetooth, I think. And um, there's one wire that goes from the OBD2. That's my 12 volt source. I have it routed, you know, through the under paneling and the steering wheel column all the way to the, 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 the wheel itself. So that's, that's pretty much how it works. Uh, you know, you have different um, modes. This is the normal mode. Uh, you know, it shows the RPM, uh, the speed, uh, coolant temp, battery voltage, engine load, tank capacity. And the box itself down there has a USB plug and you can update the, the firmware to have other features. I haven't done it yet because I wanted to have a boost gauge uh, up there. And um, yeah, you also have like uh, track apps. Well, one track app, I think uh, this is a lap timer. You start it at the beginning of your lap and it'll count basically. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much uh, all there is. These are the settings. And that menu is to customize the, um, the, the lights themselves. You can customize each light uh, to a different color. Uh, I have mine to, you know, blue, uh, yellow, then red, then flashing red uh, once I'm on the red line. As my blinkers, I have it like, uh, like a purple pinkish. So those are my flashers. Uh, you know, so far, this mod is my favorite. Like, it, it changes the way you feel the car while driving a lot. Uh, 
and it goes along really well with this with the shifter and likewise shifter uh, I'm really grateful for my girlfriend for getting me this for Christmas uh, I love her so much that's pretty much it for this video guys uh, thanks for watching uh, stay tuned for more videos we have a lot of th stuff planned uh, with some friends you know a lot of projects for 2021 uh, I hope it'll be a better year than 2020 2020 was was crap honestly it was straight up crap but yeah uh, have fun guys uh, happy holidays subscribe to the channel leave a comment tell me what you got for Christmas uh, leave a like share the video thanks